so let us come back and learn the nomenclature so i'm going to start with your nomenclature in this way for the ligands please be very careful why am i telling this because in your complex a metal atom will be given a negative ligand will that means a negatively charged anionic ligand will be given a cationic ligand will be given or a neutral ligand will be given so you have to be very careful while naming the ligand so here i have listed out few neutral ligands anionic ligands and i'll be doing cationic ligands also so whenever you find this list of ligands all these are neutral ligands done so neutral ligands charge is zero when i speak about your anionic ligands they have a negative charge on them it can be minus 1 or minus 2 depending upon the particular ion so whenever you are finding neutral ligands like this it's easy for you to remember more than this they will not ask you so the combination would be so whenever you have neutral ligand how to name this it's very simple nothing just like a general way you speak isn't it um, like uh, uh, i mean uh, like carbonyl just like that when you see this uh, methylamine just like that nothing no change so let us start naming this this is h2o so i call this as aqua this is amine simple co is called carbonyl nothing i am not changing any suffix prefix simple this is nitrosyl nitrosyl name this methyl amine methyl amine let's name this <coughs> uh, this is c6h5 uh, uh, like three taken thrice p isn't it now how do you name this try it's benzyl try uh, or triphenyl not benzyl triphenyl phosphine see here triphenyl not benzyl there's no extra ch2 triphenyl p stands for phosphine just general names phosphine now this is nothing but pyridine uh, ch uh, ch5 uh, c5 h5 n is pyridine the so simple pyridine pyridine next this is triethyl amine this is triethyl amine next this is trimethyl amine derivative of ammonia then amine trimethyl amine ph3 is nothing but phosphine so this is so whenever you are finding you are finding such ligands neutral ligands you will directly will write the common name which you know it's simple the usage whatever you use it now when i have to come to anionic ligand observe carefully this is fluoride basically what is this this is fluoride chloride bromide iodide oxide hydroxide okay let us write this also hydroxide bromide okay i'm not i'm writing this is general way but remember this ide is replaced by o again what you do you do i'll write somewhere for anionic ligand ide is replaced by o so right now fluoride will become fluoro wherever there is ide take out f l u o r o this is chloride so chloro bromide take out ide and add o bromo iodide take out ide and add iodo this is oxo so right uh, this is oxide no oxide take out ide and take out this and add oxo o hydroxide take out ide and write hydroxo this is cyanide this becomes cyano isocyanide this becomes isocyano this is sulfide isn't it s u l p h i d e sulfide take out i d e minus i d e and add o here so this becomes <coughs> sulfido here you have to remember this and hydride you are going to write this will become hydrido it's a little bit different hydrido so sulfido hydrido so let's come back and meet with your cationic ligands